Hugh Edwards has regularly featured on BBC News since the announcement of Queen Elizabeth II's passing on Thursday. The presenter also hosted a special programme on Monday called Scotland, a service for Her Majesty the Queen. However, viewers became concerned about Hugh after noticing one of his eyes was bloodshot. Viewers took to social media to share their concerns, with many calling for Hugh to have a day off. Melissa Jacques penned, can someone check on at Thayhu Edwards? Worried about his bloodshot eyes? Vicky wrote, at Thayhu Edwards has worked so by hard the last week or two his eye has exploded. While Hugh Smithson Wright asked, poor at Thayhu Edwards has a bloodshot eye and is losing his voice. Not surprising after the epic stints has been doing since Her Majesty died, but I'm going to suggest at the news give him a couple of days off so has at full strength for next Monday. Hashtag let Hugh rest. We are all worried sick, user at DeepThinker8899 replied. Airing her concern, Liz tweeted, at Thayhu Edwards what happened to your eye you need to see a doctor it looks painful. Sick, at Thayhu Edwards is your right eye okay? I know you've been on a lot but want to make sure you're looking after yourself, Yvonne asked. Others praised the broadcaster for his coverage of Queen Elizabeth II's death. Chris said, full marks to Hugh Edwards on BBC One coverage St Giles service. At the end he distinctly talked about the late Queen's living Christian faith. We have waited a long time for this BBC. All those years of doing your best to marginalize anything hashtag Christian. Our day has come. Hashtag the late queen. Sick, Johnny Hallowell praised, I think at Thayhu Edwards needs a medal after all this live coverage. Incredible. On Thursday, Hugh donned a black suit and tie as he announced the Queen's death. The presenter seemed emotional as he told viewers, a few moments ago Buckingham Palace announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The palace has just issued this statement it read the Queen passed peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening. He continued, It's a seismic event, it's the longest reigning monarch in British history, who has left us at the age of 96. And it's not a surprise when someone of that age suffers ill health and eventually passes away but what is left of course is the reflection on what was achieved and the kind of life that was led, and the sense of duty and a sense of loyalty. And as Nick was saying, the sense of humility, which seems rather bizarre to say for a monarch, as someone who had a sense of service to others. And this was a theme that was repeated so often in the Queen's statements and at great milestones in her life, you added. The BBC has given extensive coverage since the Queen's death as it showed crowds gathering outside Buckingham Palace. Hundreds of bouquets of flowers and gifts have been laid outside the gates to celebrate the monarch's 70-year reign. King Charles III also paid a moving tribute to his mother, in his first speech as king.